According to recent information, Japan is preparing to retire several Fuji Bell R-1J Huey helicopters and Type 74 main battle tanks from the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force JGSDF. In this video we will discuss the potential transfer of Type 74 main battle tanks to the Philippines and whether this initiative can be implemented. Continued by the Philippine Army while the Japanese Type 74 main battle tank may seem ancient but still commands respect from other countries and the Philippine Army has expressed interest in acquiring many units of these tanks. The possibility of moving the Type 74 main battle tank to the Philippines and whether this project can be continued by the Philippine Army. The Japanese Type 74 main battle tank may look old but this tank is still very feared by other countries. We all know that products from Japan do have very good quality as evidenced by the Japanese Type 74 main battle tank which has been in operation for a very long time. According to reports, the Philippines will be the first recipient of a grant that can include funding and equipment. Further details will be finalized once the Japanese parliament approves a budget the Philippines can accept for military purposes as part of a security cooperation grant the Philippines could potentially receive military helicopters and tanks from Japan. This is the first rationing under a new program designed to boost the defense capabilities of Japan's regional allies now starting to ease restrictions on the export of surplus EDA defense goods to friendly nations as this is currently not possible under Japanese law. Currently Japan is only allowed to transfer EDA military equipment used for military purposes. Disaster response and information gathering but not combat the plan is that proposals to transfer combat usable EDA equipment will be included as part of Japan's national security strategy white paper by the end of 2022 and the law will be revised to support this move by Japan. At the end of 2023 keep in mind that this is still a plan and it is possible for Japan to change its policy or experience delays in its targets so things are still running smoothly at the moment therefore it would be wrong to say that Japan specifically plans to donate tanks or missiles to the Philippines though their action plan to remove restrictions on arms donations may lead to the possibility of formulating a plan or proposal to donate to the Philippines. In short, there has been no official decision regarding the proposal from Japan for them to donate anything to the Philippines or other countries but the intention is there now. If all these actions by Japan actually result in a tank donation Max Defense Philippines previously suggested acceptance of the Type 74 Iron Elephant tank as a training platform for future combined arms and armor. Maneuvering as a red force or as an enemy force during exercises especially when the AFP Combined Arms Training Center is planned to enter service. The Type 74 is the main battle tank of the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force MBTJGSDF built by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries as complement to the previous Type 61. It is based on the best features of a number of contemporary designs which places it in the same class as the USM-60 patent or the German Leopard 1 as this design is equipped with a 105mm M68 gun. The design did not see widespread use until 1980 when other Western powers had introduced more capable designs, followed by the heavier Type 90. The hull of the Type 74 MBT is made of completely welded steel and is divided into three compartments, the driver's compartment in front of the fighting compartment. In the center and the engine compartment behind the driver sits at the front of the vehicle on the left side and is equipped with a one-piece hatch cover that can be opened on the left. There are three JM-17 Mod 2 periscopes mounted in front of this hatch cover and an infrared or passive night periscope can be installed in the middle of the hatch cover and used together with foreign infrared driving lights. 
MBT Japang dalam banyak hal sebanding dengan peralatan melita ini dalam kemampuannya. Mereka juga dipersenjatai dengan senapan tank 105mm, yang memungkinkan untuk menyetukan lini amunisi yang sesuai. Pada saat yang sama, tank type 74 Japang sangat baik dalam memerangi formasi bersenjata ilegal, dan juga akan kekup efektif dalam memerangi kendaraan lapis baha ringan jika terjadi pendaratan amfibi hipotetis.